Hey everyone, I hope you guys had a great day of trading today. I just wanted to cover the second trade I took, which is this one here. The entry is right here on this blue candle. And taking it up to here, a quick 2R trade here. And the reason I wanna focus on this guy is because I wanna show you the simplicity of the fractal model from T-Trades. I'll show you what to look for. I'll show you how to draw the, or plot out the deviations, the change in the state of delivery and basically mimic the functionality of the T-Trades indicator as if you didn't have it. I don't have it, uh, but I'm gonna show you how I map things out on a daily basis when I'm on the charts uh, replicating his awesome fractal model that he has. So let me clean up the charts here and we'll jump into this real quick here. So the first thing you wanna have on your chart that I would strongly recommend, and if you don't have it already, is to grab this indicator here by Fatty. It's called ICT Higher Time Frame Candles. This is the gentleman that does it and he makes some phenomenal indicators. This is my number one go-to indicator right here. And the fact that you can plot higher time frames uh, on the screen, and that way if you're on the lower time frames for entry, you've got a bird's eye view of what's going on on the higher time frames themselves. Again, it's ICT Higher Time Frame Candles by Fatty and you can you know, basically plot you know, a whole series of candles, the hour, the daily, the four hour. Uh, what I do is usually on the screen that you see here, I've got the 15, the 30, and the hour, and on a second monitor, I've got the four hour and the daily, so I can watch everything that's going on uh, in real time while I'm on the lower time frame chart. So just for simplicity's sake, let me go ahead and take off the 30 and the hour. Let's get back to the 15 minute and let's go over this trade here. So we're in replay mode here. I'm on the one minute chart and I've got the 15 minute candles displayed. So if you're thinking to yourself, why the 15, why not the five? You need to go back at this point in time, go back on YouTube and look at uh, videos covering time frame alignment because you just, you need to do that at this point. <laughs> Um, there's there's time frames that correlate with each other, so if if you're looking at if you're watching the 15 minute candles, you want to enter enter on the one minute. If you're looking at the one hour candles, you want to enter on the five, and it's the same for the 30 and the three minute. So just for simplicity and for this trade, this particular trade here, I was down on the one minute. I was watching the 15 minute candles, and that's why it's displayed as it was. Again, it, it's it goes back to the whole time frame alignment concept. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, great. If you don't, take some time to go watch a couple of videos on time frame alignment. It will make complete sense after you watch it. And then you'll understand what I'm saying here. So we're in replay mode here. The fractal model, what you are looking for is, I think it's one more candle here is what I want. Maybe one more. All right, so this is the ideal situation for the fractal model. So what you're looking for is you want to have a sweep of a previous 15 minute candle occur. So you've got a, a candle comes down, sweeps and closes back inside the range of the previous candle. Now I will say this is the ideal situation. This doesn't always occur, meaning that sometimes this candle will actually come down a little bit and not close inside completely. It'll come down a little bit. And then you really kind of need to wait for that next candle to form to see which direction it's gonna go. But again, if it closes, if you've got a large wick, which is a huge plus, if you've got a large wick that closes back inside the range, uh, that's pretty much your green light to go. Again, you also wanna keep in mind and, and watch the clock up here. Uh, I mean, if this happens, you know, when there's 10, you know, minutes left uh, while the candle's still forming, I may hesitate, but if it's, if it's within a minute or two minutes and this is already happening right here, then I'm already getting ready to jump in at that point. I know T-Trades would probably stress, hey, wait till the candle closes and then make your move. But if you can see based on price action what's happening, you know, you, you basically got to enter at that point, or at least I do anyway. So again, number one, you're looking for a sweep of the previous candle here. If you look to the left, you can see a series of consecutive 
in this case bearish candles which are again ideal I like to see three sometimes you'll see two sometimes you'll see four and then another concept to be familiar with is the change in the state of delivery if you're not familiar with that you need to go watch some videos on that and that is what I will mark out uh, here real quick I need to change the thickness on that guy so I will mark out the change in the state of delivery I will also mark out the standard deviation projections or order block projections and that I, I go from body to body I see some people go from wick to wick and this is just me I'll just mark them out this way just so I can see and it gives me an idea of potential targets and then I will also throw in this guy to see you know I'm going for two R or so maybe I'm going for two and a half just seeing again looking to the left seeing what what lines up on the left uh, in terms of liquidity areas that I can possibly target um, lately I've just been going for 2R and no matter where it's at then I get out at that point uh, so it almost it almost lines up there so again you got your sweep once the sweep happens mark out your change in the state of delivery mark out your projections on your fib again it's just generic fib settings here all my colors are black mark those out and I'm looking again to the left for potential targets of where I would take the trade but again this is the ideal situation this happens at least once a day that I've seen whether it's bullish whether it's a bearish situation you want that that beautiful sweep and that close inside whether it's on the 15 minute candles um, or whether it's on the one minute candles which is even even better and then once that's done then you know you, you've got your entry at that point now I will say most of the time that I think I was like two or three candles late on this particular entry but most of the time I will enter after I get a close let me just take this this thing drive me nuts <laughs> I will enter after I get a close above the change in the state of delivery now you got to keep in mind when you do that again looking at the candles looking at price action you've got a fair value gap here and you've got a fair value gap that has formed or that's going to form on the next candle let me go ahead and yeah so it's you got a four, fair value gap fair value gap there again once it closes I'm in on the on the next formation of this next candle here now I do keep in mind and I'm marking these out as I'm seeing it you know kind of set up here I know it may come back here in wick it may come back down here in wick but of course that's why you've got your stop loss set you know down below so you can kind of shrink the screen down here oh and then the other yeah I took that off of me let me put him back on one for two R or so once I modify this a little bit close enough so then we let it play out and then it hits at that point so that was my second trade of the day utilizing the fractal model from T trades again it's it's an it's an ideal uh, mechanical mechanical easy uh, method to enter the market obviously you want to understand order blocks you want to understand change in the state of delivery uh, breaker blocks if you understand fair value gaps market structure obviously is is a 101 you need to understand that um, but I see this form every day and of course the popularity of the fractal model it's it's just very simplistic and very easy to use um, and basically what I've done is I've replicated everything that the indicator does itself on the screen here visually for me to see I enjoy doing this I know a lot of people like things that are automated and you don't have to, you know things just pop up on the screen there are some uh, indicators that I, I, you know I've used in the past that will do that I don't mind drawing and mapping my things out manually but again just wanted to show you uh, how easy uh, this is to use so again you're looking for your sweep looking for hopefully well, what you want to see is some consistency in the can in the candles 
you want to see a set whether it's bearish or bullish that's your that's your order block right there that's being formed one one giant order block and then that forms your change in the state of delivery at that point you can see how this candle came down tapped into the fair value gap and then took off uh, the win rate for me is is pretty pretty high on this. I won't say it's it's 100% because no strategy is. There's been a few times where uh, I've been wrong, where I've jumped in and, and it kind of went up, but then turned around and, and took me out. I will say those are, uh, I don't want to say few and far between, but there's a lot, a lot more winners than there are lo losers when I utilize uh, this method. Again, if you guys have been following me, you know that I'm also looking at where's the market going to as far as the draw on liquidity, where's the next imbalance, that, that one hour and that four hour that I mark up. But again, just wanted to show you the simplicity of the fractal model, how I use it and how easy it is to mark up. Um, it's uh, 320 or so as I'm recording this video real quick and actually this has happened several times today so it's again you're looking for the sweep consecutive candles again just looking at price action and uh, very easy to to utilize from there so again just wanted to show you guys this model if you got any questions hit me up on x the two trades that i took earlier today are posted on there and uh, like i said just wanted to give you kind of a quick breakdown uh, from my perspective how i use this and the whole functionality behind uh, the fractal model itself from T-Trades. Can't give that guy enough uh, you know, high fives for this, for this model. It's, uh, it's a game changer. So uh, between this model and a video on YouTube called Profile on the 4-Hour Candle, I think it's by 11 Trades. If you watch those two, it, your, your trading will, will change completely in my opinion or I guess I shouldn't say those two, but that one, that one video plus this model uh, has, has, uh, has changed my trading tremendously. I also still utilize, which I did on the first one, first trade, I still utilize a profitable losers strategy. Um, there wasn't really, there, there was a, uh, a sweep earlier, but it was, it was kind of rough looking. And so I utilized uh, the fractal model as well as the pro profitable losers fib uh, going down on on that one again that's on uh, x there so enough of my babbling just wanted to tell you guys about the t-trades model I'll tell you how easy it is to use how i use it and i uh, hope this helps with some questions that some of you may have all right you guys have a great rest of your week this week trading and i'll catch you on the next video